Bonjour. I'm standing here in front of the Chateau de Rochechouart. Um, but first we're going down to the village. A uh, few things I want to show you on the way to a restaurant because at the moment it's lunchtime and the chateau is closed. So we'll come back after lunch and then we will explore the chateau. But when in France, you do as the French, you go for lunch. There in the front, you'll see the twisted spire dating back to 1767, a very rare example in the whole of Europe. Now, there are many legends explaining the twisted spire, ranging from poor carpentry to a disgruntled architect, and the best known of all is that the devil was flying and stopped to rest on top of the spire. The smell of incense drifted up from the church below, and made the devil sneeze so violently that he flew from the tower but his tail caught the top of the spire and twisted the entire structure into the shape. You decide. An extraordinary event in the history of the Earth happened in Rosh Hashuah over 200 million years ago. A giant meteorite of over 1,7 kilometers in diameter finished its flight here at a speed of 72,000 kilometers per hour. And this museum in front of us houses a permanent exhibition of the effects and the consequences of when a meteorite hits the earth and the impact of craters like this one in Rosh Hashuah.
Okay. We are here at Hotel de France. Shirley Anne is busy on her phone again. <laughs> and we just I'm organizing your fish and chips for tomorrow night. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and here's the menu. Yeah, so you have various options. Okay, we received some amush bush. Mm -hmm. Something to nibble on. Yes. We all like a nibble. <laughs> I have the tomato and mozzarella salad and with all the all the trimmings. <laughs> oh, looks, looks absolutely delicious. Looks wonderful. And I've got the melon. I think it's stuffed with some ricotta cheese. Yeah, melon. Um, stuffed with um, fromage de chèvre, goat, goat smoked cheese, it's it, yeah. And um, parma ham. Bon appétit! Mm. <laughs> okay. okay, I have the tornadoes de boeuf avec um, seps et van rouge sauce. Oh, red mm. wine sauce. Mm. Oh, nice. And I have magret de canard, uh, which is the filleted duck uh, with veg. Right, we are back at the chateau uh, and uh, believe it or not, we did not have dessert. In front of us, the war memorial of Rochinchouar. The chateau dates back to the 15th century and is a combination of the late Gothic and Renaissance styles. The oldest part though is the fortified entrance with the drawbridge from the 13th century. Bonjour. The Rochechouart family restored the chateau after the French Revolution and in 1836 they sold it to the Haute-Vienne department. It was then used as a town hall, a court, a clinic and a police station until 1985 when it was decided to turn it into an art gallery. Yo, look at these doors. The chateau is situated on the crater that was created by the impact of the meteorite 214 million years ago. Now many rocks and stones altered by the meteorite's impact have been incorporated into the construction of the chateau.
is incredible. I've never been here. This is divine. Stunning. Okay. I had to get a glimpse of your red, red hair so the people can see. <laughs> <laughs> Do the Rapunzel. <laughs> During excavations in the castle cellars, these tiles were discovered, and it was found that the particles in the tile clay were identical to batches of Dove tiles delivered to stately homes near Versailles in the 17th century. They were imported from Holland in 1655 and are of a type commonly employed to cover bathroom walls, but how they ended up in Rochechouart remains a mystery. This is the Italian artist's first exhibition in a French museum. The title, No Beginning and No End, refers to the impact of the past on the present, and vice versa. He looks at the knowledge we gain as time goes by, and how each moment in the present becomes a new layer of the past. Michel, originating from Sardinia, uses many historical references in more than a hundred graphic and sculptural works done over 10 years to compress the past until it begins to become one with the present. It makes us aware of a common vision and a way of thinking that mankind has always shared.
We are now in the hunt room, filled with hunt frescoes on the walls, typical of medieval art. Visitors arriving here were meant to be impressed by the nobleman's superior tastes, wealth and rank. Here in the Hercules Room, a permanent installation with limestone by Richard Long from the UK called Rochechouart Line, forcing visitors to walk the length of the gallery and back. Here you can see Hercules firing an arrow dipped in blood to kill Nessus, the centaur who is carrying off his wife. This room portrays the labors of Hercules, fresco style, an extremely rare example of French Renaissance wall paintings, only discovered in 1965. These bricks are presented as samples from an archive, almost like books, and they represent traveling across historical periods of time, accumulating the signs and letters of numerous languages along the way. The bricks come from various finds made in Florence, Brittany, Haute-Provence and Sicily. Here we see 17 totem-like rods in a circle, which is a symbol for infinity, personified by ornaments and clothes. The title refers to the artist's interest in religions which believe that there is a spirit in every natural object. And the word state also has an obvious political connotation.
And here we are in the attic of the castle to view the last part of the exhibition. Mm -hmm.